Hello students, welcome to one more amazing session from Infinity Lane. This is Suresh, Faculty of Chemistry. Today I am going to present you ZZF rule or ZZF rule. It is exclusively used for elimination reactions. Let us see some examples as well as some questions. Before going for that, I just want to present you score examination. Score examination India's largest scholarship examination. Why it is India's largest scholarship examination? Because this examination provides you scholarship worth of 1 crore rupees and also study setup and laptop also. And many more things, educational allowances and up to 100% scholarships are also available. So while it in the description box, the link is available and you click it and fill the form and enjoy the score examination to get all the facilities. One important thing about the score examination, you may be a student from Infinity Land or may be studying from any other institute, still you are eligible to write this score examination and this score examination is just online and you can sit at home and you can write the examination. All the best and click the link in the description box and uh, fill the form and enjoy the score examination. All the best. One more important thing, whenever you are preparing for some examination, it is required to go for proper assessment, how you are doing, where you exactly stand and what is done. So, for that Infinity Learn is providing you NEET 2025 All India Test Series Package. And this test series package includes 27 AITS examination which includes 13 unit test, 4 part test and 10 grant test based on new pattern of NEET examination and 20 online NEET full syllabus mock test and 25 NEET topic wise PYQs and 3 physics chemistry biology books along with video solutions on the app and detailed solutions and performance reports and for every test you will be given benchmark along with the Sri Chaitanya students. So these many facilities only Infinity Learn is given only for 5999 and it is slashed when you apply coupon code 50 off YouTube 50 off when you apply this coupon code you are going to get 50% special discounts and limited period offer. For that you are going to get exclusively limited period of 2999 and while it in the description box link is given in the pinned message is also there and uh, you just click it and uh, purchase this test series and your assessments are going to be awesome and seamless preparation for neat examination all the best my dear students and moving into the zzf rule in the elimination Rizio selectivity of E1 reaction elimination unimolecular reaction you can also use for E2 reaction. Of course, when this alcohol is heated with H2SO4, yes, when alcohol is heated in the presence of an acid, you are going to get an alkene. Let us simply see the mechanism approach and after this mechanism, let us generalize what is ZF rule and you can see. When this alcohol has OH group and this OH group is a poor leaving group and it will be a better leaving group, it is protonated. The lone pair of electron on the oxygen on the hydroxy group is going to capture the proton from the H2SO4 so that you are going to see a protonated alcohol. And this protonated alcohol is a better leaving group and this better leaving group leaves as a water molecule and forms a carbocation and this carbocation can be formed here and this carbocation has hydrogen A on this carbon atom or hydrogen B on this carbon atom there are two possibilities. So what happened when this hydrogen A is eliminated when this hydrogen B eliminated you are going to get a two stereochemical two structurally different products. Let us say if hydrogen atom A is eliminated and hydrogen atom B is eliminated. Let us see the products that are going to be if A hydrogen atom is eliminated you are going to get this alkene and uh, when hydrogen atom B is eliminated you are going to get this alkene. So let us see the stability of this alkene. For this structure that is formed by alkene formed by removing of hydrogen atom A shown here has alpha hydrogen here a methyl group so that three alpha hydrogens and here three alpha hydrogens 
and you have two alpha hydrogens. Total I could see eight alpha hydrogens are there. When you talk about this, I could see three alpha hydrogens, I could see two alpha hydrogens, I could find only five alpha hydrogens. So, more the number of alpha hydrogens, more will be the hyperconjugation. The stability of alkene is attributed to the hyperconjugation extent. More the number of alpha hydrogens, more will be the number of hyperconjugation structures, more is going to be the stability. In generously, you can say this is more substituted alkene. You can say this is a substitution and this is a substitution and here it is a substitution. And more substituted alkene is going to be more stabilized as a result of this is going to be a major. And it is less substituted, obviously it is supposed to be minor. So, major product is going to be the more substituted alkene. So, based on this fact, ZZF is given a generous rule that is called ZZF rule. In elimination reaction, in E1 reaction, it could be E2 also. It has a tendency to make the alkene with the most stable or more substituted double bond. So, that is what is called shades of rule. Anywhere you can use it during elimination reaction. So, let us see a couple of questions based on this how E1 reaction should follow these shades of rule. And let us see a product that can be one structure, two product. And here it is a cyclopentane with a bromine on elimination with ETOH, it is going to be dehydrohalogenation. So, it is a symmetrical structure so that you can make a double bond here or here does not matter. Only one type of product can be formed. When you talk about this, a benzene ring and a OH group over here, it is a dehydration of alcohol. So, when dehydration of alcohol is there, two types of product I just want to write here. You can eliminate it here as and you can also eliminate it here. So, if I eliminate here, this is the product. If I eliminate here, this is the product. But very important thing is just to see this product is never formed. Why? Because carbon is pentavalent. Whereas, this is only the product that can be formed and this is only product. So, this is dehydrohalogenation and this is dehydration of alcohol. Let us see one more example and this is 2 pentanol 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and you can have removal of OH over here and you can get a double bond over here. So, this is one product. And you are going to get a double bond over here, you are going to get a product. So, in these two, according to ZZF rule, it is a more substituted alkene, it is going to be more stable and this is a major product. And obviously, the other one is going to be the minor product. And also, you can see in this product, you are going to remove, whenever heating is given, it is supposed to be an elimination product and this alcohol act as in a base. So, you are going to get a dehydrohalogenated product and here it is. You can remove here or you can remove here, it does not matter. This is supposed to be the only product that can be expected. So, like that you can use a simple method or simple technique to find out what is the exact elimination product by using this shades of rule or shades of rule. And stay tuned for such type of various uh, uh, rules or various methods what we are going to expect in organic chemistry. And every day I am coming up with a short topic and a, a critical point and how to crack the neat questions based on that. So, hope you like this session. Please like and share with your friends and subscribe to Infinity Land YouTube channel. Thank you. Thank you very much.